Hey folks, it's Ben. We're back with video two of the 1989 Ford Probe GT. Now, I've never owned a Ford or a Probe before, so this is kind of an adventure because I, I haven't looked at this car when it's sitting in my own Quonset. I, I've uh, seen it out in the wild, but never in my own yard where I can pretty much do whatever I want. So we're just going to start at the beginning, which is it's got these cool aerodynamic... The door closes pretty good. It's nice. It needs a good cleaning, and like that's something I love to do. Brought my flashlight here. Let's see if it has decent effects on it. But uh, hinges are good. They're tiny. Once again, we got a lot of dirt on this thing, so we're just gonna have to keep an eye on that. Now here's here's a big reveal. It's got these seat covers on it. Nitrous oxide ones, I guess. My question is, is were they put on because to cover up? ugly seats or worn out seats or were they just put on because somebody thought they were cool which you know if that's your style awesome so let's find out because we're gonna go ahead and undo the strap here and I'm gonna be fighting lighting the whole day because the sun's just just around the way we got a little wear right there already so let's see oh these are nice I've watched enough videos to kind of wonder are they good seats or are they just covered up to protect them? For me, <laughs> that's kind of where I feel where I'm at with a bunch of clips I don't need, so I'll just throw them over there. Um, are they to protect them so that I would have an awesome car? It's kind of where I'm feeling with that. And it looks like they're, they're clipped in a lot, right? So, but look at this. This is, oh, this is so winning. So we got a little seam wear there, but look at it. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. And, we got these that are, oops, that fell out. And we got just the mat under there and flashlight says that uh, the clutch, the brake, which yeah, there's not a ton there. Uh, when we were getting off the trailer, there wasn't a lot of brake. <laughs> so we got to look into that too. Got some floorage, uh, whatever that plugs for. Blue and white coming out of the bottom of the seat. Interesting. Uh, Hood release works, we know that. In fact, we're gonna get into that later. And then we have on the side here, uh, the gas cap door. Oh yeah, pop that for you. Fierro's, is a, actually, that's pretty nice compared to uh, the Fierro. My 88 Fierro has the, see if that'll ever close. It's up here behind your head. So you kind of have to open the door and then you pop it and there you go. And Oh, is that trunk release? I was thinking it's hood release. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't do anything, and I don't think it's popped. So. Oh, it is popped. Sweet. So there you go. And like I say, the yesterday's video, the little shocks are toast, so she won't hold herself up. That's probably what the stick is for. Not for scraping windows, but for doing that sort of thing. So let me get this seat cover off, and... Uh, I'll do the other one and then we'll see how well they are. So removing the seat covers, the other one, the passenger came off just fine, reveals fantastic seats. Even the passenger side, it shows a little dirty, but we'll, we're gonna sh uh, shampoo this out wonderfully. Shifter knob's got some wear and tear on it, got some trash. Here's really what I need to do is before we get going on it, let's uh, go ahead and put the battery in it. Um, person who provided the car provided a new battery too I said well that's you know for a free car already popped the hood so I'm gonna drop this in I'll show you how to do that so I flipped the battery because <laughs> the cables didn't want to reach the other side so we got kind of an X caliber thing going on here so we got the negative and that post isn't great I'm not in love with that it's still even a hair loose which isn't cool uh, and then the positive side had no issues at all uh, hooking up the thing though surprise the radio was on and I hear this grinding out back, and that's the power antenna. It's got a power antenna that sticks up when you listen to it, so that's neat to know as well. So that's fantastic, but now we can get back to our actual tour, and I haven't found my flashlight, so we can really hit it. Of course, the key was in, and it was on, so that's awesome too. Let's go ahead and grab the key. Yoinks. All right. Oof. So here we go. Grand tour. Oh, we got another surprise. This is not the stock steering wheel cover. Hmm, so let's go ahead and, I don't have enough hands. I didn't bring a tripod. How do you get these off? 
I need to pull on this for a second. I wonder how the steering wheel is. Let's find out. <sighs> All right, so I ended up cutting through the entire bottom. This wheel is sweet. It uh, needs a little love, but I wouldn't cover it up. She's pretty nice, so. What else have we got here on the instrument cluster? Looks like we need some cleaning. Oh, it does have a boost gauge, winning. So we've got volts, uh, oil pressure. Looks like it's in PSI too, that's interesting. It's not even in KPA. Uh, temperature is in, in, uh, also in uh, 260. Yeah, that would be, well, that's 120 to 260. That must be Fahrenheit. And gas tank is what it is. This is a little gray. Either dirty or needs polishing because it is a little opaque. Kilometers an hour is the primary, and then it's got miles per hour on the speedometer, and then uh, the boost gauge. That's pretty awesome. And uh, hey, hey. So hazard lights are hazarding. It's a very square console, and if I saw a motor trend, I think the right in the middle here, the whole pod moves. Yeah. The whole gauge pod moves up and down. So that's cool. Let's lock up. Over here we have, that's got to be interior light brightness, which I don't know if it's on right now. Should be able to turn the domes on if I go all the way. I can't right now. Uh, pull. Oh, flash the pass. I see. So up. Are these blinkers? That's probably blinkers. Pull, flash the pass, that's how I know that. And then fog lights, I'm guessing, for that. Headlights. Oh, I see, right there is an indicator. I missed that. Park lights. Neat. So if I had my lights on, and they go up, that's high beams, low beams. High beams. Oh, beans. Cool. Ding, ding, your lights are on. This, which is probably a duct control. Oh, it's in the door. Oh, we gotta close the door then. No, wait. No, oh, please don't lock me in. Woo! I don't think I've been in this car with the door closed. It's tight! <laughs> Power windows. And the lock to keep the passenger. <laughs> oh, wait, no door locks. Fool. No, that's door locks. That must be just the window control lock. The vent. Trash holder. Horn must be here. Oh yeah. Hornage. <laughs> that sounded weird. Oh, cruise control. Oh, we have, I gotta turn the wheel. Cruise control, oof, says on or off. So there's on or off. Okay, and resume or coast and set the button to set or accelerate. Fair enough. Uh, windshield washer, the rear one. And then the washer. Cool. You have to, when you press the washer, it turns them on. That's cute. And then my wiper wipers. Oh, hi. And then you can set the speed of the delay. That's cute. And that's, that's a, hi. I can't see it very well. There we go. Low, intermediate, off. Cool. And mist, just go down like that. Oh, that's cute, just for a single wipe. And the washer fluid, you press, press it in. Oh, that's super. That's cool. Um, what's next? The trip computer, I've heard about this one a little bit. Let's move my light up somewhere, it helps a lot. There you go, it kind of helps. Okay, so the trip computer too. It's really why I need an owner's manual. So I've got vents, obviously. You can cover it up or show it. That's pretty cool. I don't know if the AC works in this car, so, but there it is. AC on off, recirc on off, and the typical vents and temperature control. Uh, radio with cassette, which I guess is the high end radio. That's cool. And a tray, ash tray, which I can hide away, or crap tray, shifter, and reverse. Oops, watch in for reverse. Clink, yeah, reverse. Down here by me, we have Oh, mirrors, really. So if I go left, I might have to have the key on for that. It seems weird, and then the other way. Yeah, that one doesn't work either. Okay, that's fine. And then ride adjust, sport, 
normal and soft. The park brake, which does kind of work. We'll find out how much in a bit. That's cool. And then we have my light over here. We'll have to push it out in the sun when we wash it here. And we'll get the we can get a nice another warm day on a weekend we'll washer. Oh, we have to get some money. And then this folds out and out of the way. Oh. And then on the seat here, <laughs> I'm getting upside down. Oops, and I'm dropping the camera. On the seat here, I've got this thing. Oh. It's doing something to the back of my chair. So, oh, that's like a power lumbar, like bam, right there. So that's awesome. Oof, coming around the other side. I'm gonna open the door, oof. That pocket. So we got full way power seats, back, forth, left, right. Fantastic. We have kind of explored that part of it. So wow, that is pretty awesome. I have to stare at a Ford logo. Man, that's okay, I guess. So keeping on our trip here, what's in here? There's a little vent. That's a seat belt cover clip. No one's missing one though, so. Mmm, ketchup, that's tasty. And then if you squeeze this, it should come all the way down, but let's not dump all this trash on the ground. Carpet has got cigarette butts on it. And let's just take this. That's free. Nice carpet underneath, that's cool. Vent of heater. And... Man, these lawn airbag cars are cool. Oh, and I got that. So I have the key here somewhere, don't I? Am I sitting on it? Before I get too crazy, I forgot to look up. And what we have up here, you can adjust light to it, which like it's not gonna play. Can we? Yeah, there we go. We've got low oil. Get a little thing off here. Low oil, fuel, I'm guessing low. Coolant, service it for whatever. Washer, fluid, doors are open, tail lamp, stop lamp, headlamp. Hmm. Hey, look at that. And these pressers? Yeah. Let's turn that off so we don't overexpose them. Map lights, mirror. Oh. Bad luck for whoever did that. Caution for turbocharged engines. Make sure you change the oil and filter every 5,000 miles. All miles. It's a kilometer car, but everything is customary. <laughs> and then, oh, oh, no way. Oh, that's adorable. It's got a little, in case you don't want to look at yourself, flap. And then we have a sunroof. Come on, boom. There she goes. Just to vent the inside and provide sun. I don't know if it would have come with a cover or not, and I don't know if that cover is here in the car or not. So, anywho, so that's that's the not working thing. So I've got keys here. One says Mazda, and one doesn't say anything. I'll try that one. Anti-lock light is on. The fasten your seatbelt light is on, and the check engine light is on. Ooh, it's negative two degrees C outside. That's a neat feature. Can we check on that? Yeah, there we go. Nice. And so I have to learn how to use this computer. Destination, fuel economy. And that's in, there must be a way to make this, oh. Yeah, there we go. Miles per gallon, now we're talking. Miles per gallon, average miles per gallon, uh, DTE, exterior temperature. 28 degrees, that's about right for here. Average speed, distance, destination, I don't know. Estimated time of arrival, is my guess. That'd be ETA, so ET is, don't know. Okay, and there's a radio. That's YouTube friendly static. And the antenna went up in the back, so that's pretty awesome. I haven't checked any fluids, so I'm not even gonna hit the starter on this thing. I'm sure they're fine, but do my mirrors work now? They do. <laughs> so that works, and I don't know if this does anything. I should turn this off. Down goes the antenna. It works, that's pretty cool. I hear a click. Like it's doing something in the back when I click these switches here. Keys in the ignition, you know, just so the car lets you know that. And, oh, 
we have vantage going on here. Ooh. Okay. Uh, uh, panel. Should be me. If it's vacuum operated, then I'm not gonna get anything. But she's defrosting really nice. And off. There and off. I've done it. There's no turning you off now, is there? Okay, and the clock says it's um, one minute. <laughs> Sweet. So we're all good there. Let's take a look in the trunk again. Sweet. I haven't seen, actually it's got a back seat. This car is not fun to get out of. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm my Fiero, it's that, when I get that back on the road, that's gonna be tough. Uh, so we got the sign there, it tells me how much the car weighs and it's VIN number and all that stuff. And uh, that opens that. We have stuff in the back. Cause this seat slide forward. Is there a mercy? Nope, that's it, jeez. So what do we got back here? Toys for the car. Um, that thing, okay. Don't know what that does yet. And some hooks. They look like battery hold downs maybe? Ooh, yeah, that's what that is. That's gotta be a battery hold down. Okay, and oh, we got some racing pads here. Got some crap on them. Oops, those fell out. Okay, a little bit of powder, battery powder from the holder, duh. Anything? No, nope, nothing right back here. There's a light here and a missing ashtray. Um, that's on this side. Lap belts and speakers. Oh, I'll have to check out the speakers. I'll let you know how those are. Put some real tunes on. No, YouTube friendly tunes. Click on the old. This seat only has the, oh, the uh, I have to pull and then. Holy poop. <laughs> this one slides forward. So that's cool. XR Racing, that's. Oh, this one fell out too. Lost it, Chucks. Okay. Oh, there's the bolt for the seat belt. Ooh, hiding something here. Oh, that's a pop-out panel. Is that? We don't know yet. Cool. And the rear seat. Now I see them all split down the middle. I mean, there's a lot. How? You <laughs> move that seat forward. You got some leg space. No head space, but I got leg space. There's something to release this thing. I don't know where though. There's a button, something here. I pull on it. Yep, okay. That lets me into the super dark trunk. Boom. So I can have both seats down? Oh, that'd be, that'd be wagon-esque, wouldn't it? I could have it all cargo. Yeah, there's a button that goes there. Oh, no. <laughs> I imagine it's quieter with the rear seat down, but yeah, that's a car for you. There's a suspension for the Mears Figerson struts, I guess, out back. I don't know what's out back yet. Um, and where the spare tire would live. It's frozen here, guys. Um, carpeting that all needs to be clean, washed, and awesomed. There's my hold up the door stick. Neato, I'm gonna sit back here. Oof. Oh. Hmm. What's that? Something for the car. I like to hide my audio stuff, don't I? I don't know what that is. I need to like download a repair manual. There's the idiot light. Sweet. So if I put this back, and I put this back, this is awful. I'll be honest with you. This is not the, <laughs> I, uh, I'll flip it around. This is crazy. <laughs> I can't, I can't ride back here. Uh, nope. As a normal sized large adult, it's just no, I have to ride stoop down the whole way. Yikes, totally a kid's holler for sure in the back, but I've got kids, so they don't care. All right, let's uh, get out of here if we can. Okay, so back to the back, here's the wiper and the squirter, and it's not popped, so let me hit the button here. It, and it's open. Okay, it doesn't go. There's no spring, I guess. It just lets it go. And uh, I need a stick about that tall. Just 
the hair too tall? Just the. Oh, well, that'll work for now. Cool. Well, that's open. Comes with a free cracker. Now, I mentioned over here, let me bring you on in. Got a little washer fluid, and you can see the tank hiding out. I don't cover it with my fingers. <laughs> uh, washer fluid, rear washer fluid. And then I'm sure this is, yeah, it's missing the, the clips there. There are some little clip. oh, it looks like they've been modified already. These little strings would come up and attach to that. So when you open the back, it opens this too. Now I kind of saw the back yesterday, so I don't need to go too crazy here. Just taking a look. The well's great, it's got a plug. Plugs are there, it's not wet back here. And the carpet's pretty good. I think we'll just empty this all out, clean it, and then put it back together again. Hopefully we'll have tires for it then, so we can put the spare away. It's got that weird wood flap here. That's a frame rail of some kind. That's where the jack goes, no doubt. And how's the carpet look, really? Put this, down, this down here and that down here and throw this back, and it's good. Looks like we got some poopage. Some mouse poopage and a... Whatever that is. Sound ending, maybe, if it's factory. Oh, and the bungee cord. That's, oops, that's, these must be cargo tie-downs of some kind. That's what they are. So there's two of them here, too. That's neat. Cargo tie downs. That's so you can kind of you can't see in your cargo compartment through the window. That's awesome. And then it's just a long piece of metal. I've actually never owned a hatchback either. So we'll need to get new struts so that you can just whoosh that open. And then there are adjustable rubbers there. I think that's it for the back. Let's uh let's check out the blinkers, see if they work. Okay, so we're gonna do it for the interior tour. That's pretty awesome. Needs a good vacuuming, obviously. I'm gonna shampoo the whole thing. It's winter time, so I'm gonna have to heat it. That's no big deal. And that'll be the interior. Everything seems to work fant- Oh, I didn't check the, I didn't check the windows actually, did I? So let's put the keys in it. Last, last thing before we say goodbye. Put this on. Hello, your. That's neat. This is the GT. Almost there. Same as with you guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and there we go. The oil, fuel, coolant, light champ. The door's a jar, washer fluid. Everything's wrong right now, so that's great. All right. So if you have any questions, ask them. And if you know anything, <laughs> tell me, because I don't know a lot about this car at all, outside of its car, and I like it. So with that, um, I'll throw my outro and then next video we're going to look at this and we're going to take a closer look at that. We're going to do some vitals and then we'll start talking about getting this thing started. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Leave any questions or comments down below and be sure to subscribe to my channel for awesome updates on what I'm doing. Uh, please check out the next video I've got lined up for you and also uh, check out my Patreon page if you want to support what we're doing here. And finally, check out my other less tractory page, Red Barn Homestead. You can subscribe to that too, see some awesome stuff. And we'll see you next time.